Hello, I'm going to show you how to create trainer for Jet Engine from scratch using a form designer. So I'm not going to crack any software or attach to any program just to create the form. So here is uh, my Jet Engine. So I click File and then click on Generate Generate Trainer. And then now that I'm here, I will click Design User Interface manually. And then from here, I've got a default form given to me. And I want to delete everything in the form, so I click on this one and delete everything. So now I will put uh, change the title here. I will change the name of the form first. Click on the form. Just like form. Click outside. Click back here and should change. Next, we want to change the caption. So the caption is over here. my trainer and it's showing here my trainer we want to add a label click on label and click in here the caption for label we will put it as no messages and then the we also want to add a button here but first we change the name of the label from CE label change it to LBL messages so the name is used by the internally by the program the caption is what people can see and then we want to add a button so click on the button object and click in the form You can drag it around to resize it. And then for the button name, come to the properties here and put BTN. Click me, enter. And then for the caption on the button, click caption and say click me. Okay, now we can save the form. Click file save and give a name and now we also want to save everything here so click file save and save your cheat table let's call it my trainer okay and you click on table you can also see the form there right now you can generate click on generate trainer you can set the icon here if you want so we're going to extract the icon from the exe so just click on the e any exe will do and it will automatically extract the icon click open and now you can click give a fake process name click generate trainer exe click ok and give a name and the location trainer.exe save here you can click target process gigantic so that other people can use it without needing to install JIT engine if you choose tiny if you choose tiny then other people cannot reuse your exe trainer unless they have JIT engine installed change icon if you want select any exe and you extract the icon automatically Click Generate. Click OK. And now we can go and test it. You are free to close this if you want to close. And there you go, Trainer. See that? Alright, so now we are going to make some changes. 
we want to add a picture of a cat and then when we click on click me it will say meow here so open chip engine again and then now load your trainer and then you can just click here directly form edit or you can click file generate either one will do so go here click form edit and then now here we want to move everything to the bottom make space for a picture we are going to put a picture here so click on the image and click here and then go to the properties scroll down to picture click on the three dots click load select any picture PNG or JPEG click open click OK and now we want to stretch the image to fit the picture box so go to the properties scroll down to stretch click through proportional click through so now we see this you have a cat next we want to make the button when you click on it you will say meow so we need to add a button handler click on the button first and then go to the properties click on events go down to on click click here double click and then it will create a handler for you so over here we want to reference the label message so we have to reference it from the parent so from the parent we click form dot label messages so we click form type form dot label messages dot and the property we want for the label is under here caption so we put a dot followed by caption and then we can say meow now we click file save if you want to know if there are any error you click execute if there are no errors you won't see any error <coughs> if you made a mistake here maybe you delete C and then you click execute <coughs> you should get an error normally you will sometimes like now it doesn't so just click file save and then now we can close this remember to save here as well and now we can generate so to generate a form a trainer you go to file generate generate trainer click OK here click no and then here give any fake process name and then here you can set the icon here this icon uncheck this don't want user to resize click set icon and you can rip any icon from any exe so let's say we want to rip from here so it will rip the umbrella icon from the exe and set it here as you can see and then now you click generate trainer exe click ok give a name or all right the previous one click yes here select target process 32 bit click generate click ok and now you can close everything and there's your new trainer and you have a cat and you have an icon and when you click on the button it says meow okay so that's it uh, if you want to edit this you just have to reopen your cheat engine again load the cheat table and then here say no you can either edit it from here form edit 
and make whatever edit you want or another way to edit is let's reload again you know another way to edit is file generate generate training from log table click ok click no and then here design user interface manually right then you can go ahead and edit so let's say now I want to add another button here I just go ahead and put another button here and click here and this second button maybe I give a different name maybe I call it LBL feed and then the caption maybe I changed the caption here to fit me alright so now I'm going to say something like thank you whenever you click on the button so let's click a handler for that click on fit me and then over here events and then under on click double click on this and you have a new button handler so now we're going to change the message to say thank you and click file save right and remember to save the form override it and here also remember to save Alright, now you can generate trainer. Here you need to put a fake name. Click generate trainer. Overwrite the previous one, click yes. Change icon. Extract the icon from here. And then click generate. Click OK Click Generate And it is saving, generating Click OK And then now you can close And now you go back here, you can click the trainer And you can see Feed me Thank you Alright And if you want to edit it further, very easy Let's say you have closed it and you want to edit it further. Just open Chin Engine. Click Load. Load the trainer. Click No. And previously I showed you that you can re edit by going here and click this. Now I'll show you another way. You can just directly click Table, go to the Form and click Edit. Then you have a cat. Alright. And then you can put another button here. Let's say, okay, this button maybe is you want to call it uh, BTN Pearl. And then the caption maybe you want to say Pearl. So we're going to write her script, uh, write a handler so that when you click on Pearl, it says Pearling. Right, so click on this, go to event, click on click, double click, or just click this also can, but, but if it's a new button, it's always better to double click, so you generate the skeleton for you. Now over here, you can type form, label, messages, caption, per. Right, so remember to always save. And save this as well, the new form, and also save your table. Three things to save, remember. And now finally, you generate. So to generate, you must click File, generate this one, click OK, click No, and then here you load the form, and now you click Generate. Here you must type a fake process name, 
and then here generate trainer click ok alright the previous one click yes target process change exe and click generate click ok it is successfully generated so you can close everything and go and test your new trainer click yes there you go all right click feed me thank you meow purr that's it so yes now let's see you see the icon is missing so let's fix that now so let's put back the icon there so go and load thing <coughs> click this then you open up the designer now you put the icon there so the icon here set icon you can extract icon from here like that or if you want to use the cat icon you can click this one I'm not sure if the PNG will be able to extract cannot so you have to extract from an existing ESC or download an icon file ICO .ico file alright there you go and then now you can generate give a fake name for the process uh, we don't want to okay cancel we don't want this so alright create generate trainer alright yes generate Okay, now remember to save everything again. First save. And this one also save. Then you can close. So let's test it. And there you go. Your icon is back. Feed me, thank you. Click me, meow, purr. That's it. So this is how you can create uh, trainer in chain engine using the form designer and how you can open and re-edit it as many times as you want if you found this helpful and useful remember to like subscribe and share thank you very much for watching i'll see you in the next video